the, the purpose of having a stress echocardiogram is essentially assessing the significance or presence of significant coronary artery disease. Um, when we look at assessing the presence uh, of coronary disease, uh, there are essentially <clears throat> two ways of doing that. One is what we call anatomical, in which way we can see if the arteries supplying the heart have got any deposits on them, what we call in medical terms pluck, which is cholesterol deposits. Um, that gives an anatomical description of the, of the deposits or disease in the artery. The other assessment is physiological, where um, you assess whether the artery is supplying enough blood flow to the heart muscle. And that's where uh, physiological tests, uh, one of them is a stress echocardiogram, which is a, now a gold standard test, um, is very much at the forefront of assessing any physiological or significant uh, impairment of blood flow to the heart muscle and the coronary arteries. Uh, the having stress echocardiogram is essentially um, anyone can have it to either um, rule out the presence of significant coronary artery disease or um, assess the significance of coronary artery disease, which was seen on any anatomical test like a CT angiogram or anything of that sort. Um, it's also used as a risk stratification uh, to assess if there's any burden or the amount of ischemia present in the or lack of blood flow to the heart muscle. So it's used in so many different ways. It's a very simple test because it's simply just walking on a treadmill machine like in a gym. And therefore, it's, it's, it's a very easy and simple and safe way of assessing the presence of any significant coronary disease with a physiological meaning. In other words, um, whether the, the, the presence of uh, plaque or deposits in the arteries is causing a problem to the blood flow to the heart muscle. Um, <clears throat> having a stress echocardiogram is simply like uh, having any exercise stress test. Uh, it involves uh, the patient uh, coming in. They don't need to have anything. They can. They don't need to fast. They don't need to uh, uh, be. Uh, uh, they. They. It's like walking on a treadmill machine in the gym. So there's there's no preparation necessary, especially to have a stress echocardiogram. Uh, we perform um, echocardiogram, which is imaging of the heart with ultrasound. Prior to the patients getting on the treadmill machine, we then put them in the treadmill machine until we achieve a certain target heart rate. And uh, when they achieve a target heart rate, we then uh, take images of the heart very quickly when the heart is working at the heart level uh, and to compare and see if there is any impairment of blood flow to the heart muscle at peak stress. There is no, um, all the patients do is they just walk on the treadmill machine, which is exactly the same as any uh, treadmill machine in any gym. Uh, thread, uh, stress echocardiogram is extremely safe because it's a physiological test. Very rarely, uh, when patients cannot uh, walk on treadmill machine, we give medications uh, to stress the heart uh, pharmacologically rather than the patients having to, to walk on the, on, on the treadmill. Um, but it's extremely safe whether done by medication or by physiological walking on the treadmill machine. Um, the vast majority of the patients we do uh, almost 98% uh, are done by uh, just simply walking on the treadmill machine, and therefore it's a very safe and physiological way of stressing the heart. Uh, following a stress echocardiogram, um, the images, when images are acquired, we often uh, uh, analyze the images immediately or within the same day after the test. We can then establish if there is uh, ischemia or lack of blood flow to the heart muscle, or if the heart is performing extremely well without any compromise to the blood flow under stress. Of course, uh, if there is no um, impairment of blood flow, then uh, this is a very reassuring result, and the patients can um, be reassured that under stress, the heart is receiving the blood flow it requires. If, on the other hand, uh, we see evidence of uh, impairment of the blood flow to the heart muscle with stress, uh, it is very likely that the patient will then have some sort of a, uh, invasive assessment with the means of performing an angiogram and then revascularization of the artery or opening up the artery, which is causing a lack of blood flow to the heart muscle. Uh, 